We are headed to the Moore Expo. Super excited. Me too. Can't wait to see all of our friends, make new friends. All the vendors. All the vendors, all the things. All the patches. Did we come up with a budget for this trip? No. <laughs> Just all the money? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we need anything. Patches. Patches. I mean, look, all the patches. I need more patches. More patches. Mm -hmm. But I meant like real practical things. Um, I, I mean, no, if I see I, something, I may think about it. Last year, we nearly bought an Opus, so this year, may, we may buy a van. <laughs> We're not buying an adventure van. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I mean, that's our dream, so why not go ahead and invest now? <laughs> I did anyway, a really good pitch, y'all. I could can. sell, I could sell a lot of things. She could, but anyway, we're heading out of town. Hopefully, the roads won't be too bad. The weather has there, been man. crazy cold and sketchy. Yeah. If you can tell, we're in a puddle. The highs in Springfield, Missouri, this weekend are in the teens. Lows are like around zero. So, should be Stupid interesting. Dumb. Should be interesting, but I don't think there's going to be any any precipitation. So that'll be yeah. good. All right. Well, see you more. Bye. We made it to the expo center, and it's kind of cool because. Everybody's setting up, so we can get a behind the scenes. <laughs> Look at this big. Ooh. I cannot that thing. Uh-uh. Who's this? Rhino. Mm -hmm. Look at y'all. What y'all doing? What's what up? Doing? What's up, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> so I want to cover four things. I want to give a quick overview of just the interface for Gaia, both on the uh, web browser and uh, a tablet, which will be the same for your phone, uh, and should be the same for iOS and Android. Uh, and so I want to go over interface real quick. I want to cover the layers, because that to me is the most powerful aspect of Gaia GPS, is the layers. I want to show you how to just real quickly knock out a route to pre-plan, and then show you how to download maps. So those are the four key areas that I want to cover. Any questions real quick? Matt, once you create a route, mm -hmm. you save it, do you have to download it over to your tablet? It'll automatically sync. As long as you have internet access, it will sync. It will sync. All right, we are officially in the Mori Expo. First class went well. So now we're just wandering around until the next class. Gonna see who all we can see. Yeah. Uh, there's they Joey got, and Michael uh, just blabbing. Together. It was yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Lee running the show. And the scripty room was just amazing. Well, thanks. Now we varied from it just, just a little tiny bit. Switch back out to our safety. Good. They got some cool classes. See this beast. be fun climbing through there. Oh my gosh, look at that. We got a shower. This won't fit in the Ozarks, but that's pretty darn cool. Here's Brad with Trail Recon's new power wagon. And brand new Patriot camper. There is so much. That thing is gorgeous. This is be beautiful. Man. That is gorgeous. Pop-up pits are awesome. So much stuff. The sidekick like we have for 1800 
we've made it through part of one of the wings. And now I've got to get back to my 11 o'clock class on the motor vehicle use maps and trail preservation. So we've got uh, our buddies here at Natural State Overland. So Rick, they got new shirts. You've seen the Spurgeon Morton cabin on our videos. Anyway, we're super pumped. We got to go now. Got another class to do. I'm Matt McClellan. I've got a little YouTube channel called Ozark Overland Adventures. And this class is on the motor vehicle use maps and just kind of talking about trail preservation. Uh, what we can do to keep trails open and really more importantly, what are key things to, to do so we don't get trails closed. So MVUM stands for motor vehicle use map. And it is something that if you are wheeling in any national forest, it is the key document that you need to have for running trails. And you'll see these dots on the side of this trail. That means all along this trail, if you find a spot, you can camp here. Making our way back through. Let's see what, uh, what's up? Seeing how your stuff's doing? Look at all that cool stuff. Look at that. Just went to Brahms for lunch. If you've never eaten a Brahms, they're excellent. Good burgers. But it is currently 12 degrees outside. Didn't stop me from getting ice cream because it's amazing. It's never too cold for ice cream. And then you've got your cutting boards here. All of them store inside. So your cutting boards act as dividers, <laughs> keeping your canned goods away from your bread and chips. Oh. They slide right in the sides here. Okay. This bag will fit right here. Oh, there's a knife rack too. You got a knife magnet, paper towel rack. You've got your spice rack here. So when you're getting ready to spice your meats up, that baby goes right there. So now you guys got the steaks grilling, right? Dang. So then you want to let those steaks rest right there. All right. Totally modular. That's cool. Completely modular. 360 degrees of function and versatility. Let's get next to the tunnel. You can't camp in the back. We'll the sleeping bags here. Um, there's a diesel fired Robestos heater. So, same thing like a truck driver in a semi would use. So, that way you can run the heater when the engine's off. Okay. Um, you can also fold up these seats and put um, you know, cargo in the back. You can put basically a pallet back here. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not out. I mean, but you can see the plank? Yeah. Okay, walk out on the plank. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Bro, well, that's a long way down. Yeah, walk out on the plank. No. Yep. Come on. Bro, this is the ultimate mind. Come on. I know, it's even more real when we actually have the plank at home. Bro, no, my brain is telling me no. I know. Come on. Get out on the plank. No, Get out to. on the plank. Come on, you oh, weenie. Man. Well, it is Sunday morning. It's starting to snow pretty good outside. And we are here a little bit early trying to get just a little more idea of who's still here and show you guys some of the booths and stuff without all the people around. But looks like he's about to let people in. We're gonna see who the dedicated people are who are still here with the snowpocalypse coming. We've got our class today at 11. And we'll see how many people show up for that one. Yesterday's classes were packed. Um, I don't know that today's will be. I think a lot of people will probably play it safe and smart and head home. One thing you will find a lot of at more are campers. <laughs> These things Morning, are so cool. It's actually a pretty good size. Oh, yeah, this thing's pretty cool. I like it. The Sniper X. I like the extra awning room. This thing's pretty cool. Wife's checking out new patches. Yeah, E3. Oh, E3 Overland. Yeah. Sweet. They didn't have these yesterday. They must have been. Oh. Overland Outfitters. 
They do an amazing job if you're in the Missouri area. I just love this Toyota. It's so gorgeous. I know I said that yesterday, but it just is. Apparently Ram is one of the sponsors here. Talus Expedition Gear. Oh, there's that guy. Dometic drawer fridge? Yeah. Cool. Man, that's nice. That's all aluminum powder coated. That's well built. That looks good. Thank you. These are some cool bumpers. You can customize them. Iron Bear Customs. Oh, I love that minimalist JK rear bumper. That's cool. That would be handy. Rhino Rack is here. Love their backbone system. Wish I had a hard top again, but I don't. Good morning. What's up, Joey? Hey, what's going on? You having fun, man? I'm having fun, man. You having fun? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You? I'm having a blast. Yeah, heck yeah. Your FJ getting a lot of good attention? Yo, it is. It's so sweet. It is. I mean, for an FJ, you know. Oh, yeah, well, apparently there are other people that drive them. I heard that. <laughs> I've heard that. <laughs> Axel Boy Off-Road. They've got a nice booth with some cool stuff. They're selling Dive Dynamics. I love the pet stuff that they have. Communication stuff. If you're in Arkansas and you have not seen Rock Squatch Designs, they have got some sweet stuff. I love all their t-shirts. What's that? I know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Lots more trailers. Here's the X-Venture. Here's something for hauling things. My friends, Randy, Rick. Hey, with Natural State Overland, October. October, 14th what? through the 16th. It's Thursday through technically Saturday now. Right. If That's you've right. never been to Rendezvous in the Ozarks, it is amazing. It is my favorite event of the year, and these guys put on a heck of an event. And compared to everything else, it's so affordable. And it's in the Ozarks. You can't get better than that. Yeah, lots of trails, lots to do, lots of vendors, give away a lot of product. Come out and see us. And some weird people teaching classes too. <laughs> yeah. You know? Got those too. Yep. You got the brand new Helux fridges here. These things are awesome. This is a 60 liter fridge, so a little bit bigger than our Dometics. But the, all one big storage space with a removable basket, LED lighting. But these things have the battery built in. And you can take them out so you don't have to have an external dual battery setup or you know a jackery or a goal zero or anything like that the battery's built in and will run the fridge for three and a half to four days that's pretty cool they've got a dual zone but you can have a refrigerator and freezer that's pretty cool american adventure lab is here they've got this Pull out leveling rooftop tent rack that is crazy innovative. I think uh, this is what they put on the Gladiator Light Bright built to give away, but it stores in there under your rack so you can keep stuff on top. It's crazy cool. It's a lot smaller than I expected it to be. And this tailgate table is gorgeous. It's one-handed. Then we got Dio Dynamics here. What's up, Craig? How's it going? 
we just put these SS3 Max pods. Where are they? There they are. Over here. On Kara's Grand Cherokee and absolutely love these lights. These are some of the coolest cubes I have ever seen and the light output is unreal. We love them. Looks like they're getting into the light bars. Got some sweet stuff here. Oh, I love these. Oh, I'd like to have a set of these on the back of my Jeep. This is my buddy Frankie's with Overland Rentals Land Rover 110. Well, it's not his, but you can actually rent this and take this out. Like you can look how well restored this is. This is gorgeous. Look at these seats. Beautiful. And you can rent this. This is love it. Oscar Mike Overland. What's up, guys? What's, What's up? up? How's it going? Good. What do y'all do? So, Oscar Mike Overland is a overlanding group to get veterans on the move. We're a nonprofit, uh, okay. and it's just awesome. about getting guys out of the house, helping them with their transition, or you know, just giving them something to do that Dude, they might awesome. not otherwise have. Let's go see what my friend Chad has. What do you got over here, man? Man, these Zarge boxes are everywhere. They're so cool. Yeah, you're the only one I've seen the painted ones. I love the black. I just, I just don't know how hot that would be in the summer. That's what everybody thinks and Rome says, no hotter. Oh, these fire starters are awesome. Oh, they're carrying Step 22 now. Step 22 makes awesome bags. Uh, and this is Chad's G-Wagon that he actually wheels. And apparently he repaired the accident he had. We have had an incredible weekend. The snow has really started to come down. It's very pretty. It is very pretty. And we are heading home. Chris, you did a fantastic job with the expo this year. Very well done. Twice the space, man, all the all the vendors that showed up. It was awesome. Very incredible. So thank you so much. We will definitely be back next year. <laughs> we're tired <laughs> and we're exhausted and we're going home bye